This is my dad, Frank, talking about Chet. Yeah. I'd like to say he's a modern day cowboy, but when I think back, it was 70 something years ago. <laughs> it ain't too modern in my world. Check this out. You'll love it. Where we lived on the Boston Post Road, which is known as Route 1, US 1, runs all the way from, I think from Bangor, Maine to Miami. And uh, it was the first US highway in the country, I believe. And there was a lot of activity around there. Across the street, there was a truck stop. They had trailer trucks coming and going and fueling up and people sleeping over there and taking showers and getting in, <laughs> getting in fights. And after a hard day's work at driving the truck, they would get drunk and get in fights with each other. Anyway, this one morning, I, it was like about 5 o'clock in the morning, I heard this like a grunt. Like a, it was like a, huh? He's laughing. Oh, yeah, hysterically every time, and you're gonna be too. It was like a grunt noise. It was like, ooh. <laughs> and so, I, I I peeked out between the we had the Venetian. You didn't tell the story yet, Uncle John. No, I didn't know what happened too. <laughs> he knows. He knows the we end, had the uh, Venetian blinds. You ever see Venetian blinds? They're like slats that when you yeah. turn the thing, they yeah. go like this. We had those, so I went over, my, we had bunk beds, and the bunk beds were up against the windows in the house, because I, all my brothers, we needed a place to sleep. So anyway, I peek out between the Venetian blinds, <laughs> and here's Chet. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It was deader than a doornail. Oh. He hung himself. He, he got on his horse. And for some reason, he decides to pick our backyard. We had an apple tree back there. It was a perfect hanging tree. <laughs> and, and Chet decides to, to commit Harry Carey. So I yelled, they screamed. I said, Mama, Mama, Chet just hung himself. Call the police. Call an ambulance. And, he, and meanwhile, he's dangling there like that. Mm -hmm. His nerves were still at work. He was, I think he was dead, but his nerves were still working. Oh. And he, uh, he wasn't too responsive. But I, and my mother yells back, stop bothering me. I'm trying to get your lunches ready for school. Because every day she had to make all these six school lunches, right? Like me. <laughs> so, so she... Uh, Frankie, stop, stop fooling around with me this morning. Hurry up and get dressed. It's getting late. So I'm like, oh, I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. I said, please, come and look. Please, just do me a favor and look. So she comes over to the window. She goes like this. Ah! <laughs> you, didn't need a, you didn't need a siren. You didn't need a siren. Well, tell them what, so, why Chet was there on a horse, though. Tell them the reason, you know, what... Oh, he, there was a stable two buildings down. Like I said, a very industrious area. And there was a stable, a horse riding stable, two buildings down. People used to go over there and ride horses. And one of my aunts from New York, my crazy Alice, Aunt Alice, mm -hmm. her husband was a taxi cab driver in the Bronx. And he died. And he... He, this guy Chet, hooked on to her. She liked to ride, go horseback ride, and he used to take her out on trail rides with other people. And he hooked on to her. And I don't know if he commit, <laughs> I don't know if he commit suicide because of her, or what. But she always joked about it after that. Yeah, she did. He was chasing her. She, she, he was chasing her, and she ran. She rode the horse right into, into the, the house. house. <laughs> yeah. Into she, your house. Yeah, he, the front door was open. There was a plank. Like I say, we were moving the house. Yeah. I didn't know where he gets and, all his crazy time from. I see. <laughs> and we're yeah, Alice. <laughs> she, my father had a couple of thick planks, you know, lumber, up yeah. into the front door, and the front door was open. You met her, didn't you? And yeah, Chet was chasing her around the horse. Yeah. She come galloping up the plank. She galloped right through the front door. Oh my God. Right up into the house, she's riding around in the living room, my mother's screaming, what are you doing with that horse in my house? 
All right. So, anyway, uh, the police came, and of course, the ambulances, the fire engines, they had Route 1 blocked up for 40 miles in each direction. <laughs> The horse go. Yeah, the school go. was canceled. <laughs> <laughs> the horse took off. He was, he was. The horse took off. He must have went back to the stables. I would imagine. Or either that, he went out on a trail ride by himself. And uh, this guy Chet, he loved horses. He was a cowboy. He was a real cowboy. He proved it the way he checked out. <laughs> That's how cowboys should go. That's how they usually do Make it. Make that face again. What we'll with the noose? <laughs> <laughs> the tongue hanging out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did I tell you? You'll love it. I almost forgot. That was R rated. <laughs> anyway, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. For more videos like this, click the bell notification. They'll come to you as I produce them. Thank you for your support, love, and energy. See ya!